Gladiator, assassin, pickpocket, bodyguard. Valera Sanguinar has held many titles over the years, some of them unsavory to those she has made enemies of. But this Blood Elf holds no loyalties other than to her friends and her principles, though if you insult the Blood Elves around her, you'll still get a few harsh words. Valera is our first addition to the Nexus in a while of a character who isn't dead, so we can nix all those afterlife theories that have been thrown around. She's had a long path to get here and become the formidable assassin she is. Born to a well-off family in the elven territory of Quel'Thalas, they were unfortunately killed by bandits, leaving her the only survivor. She was forced to learn to fend for herself and become a pickpocket, which helped her immensely when the Scourge ravaged her homeland. She remained in Silvermoon with the Blood Elves until after they joined the Horde, all while honing her skills as a thief. I find it a little ironic that her family was killed by bandits, so she ended up becoming one, but eh. Valera made her way to Kalimdor, where she was jailed for trying to steal a talisman off a shaman. She injured quite a few guards in the arrest, which caught the attention of one Rhaegar Earthfury, arena promoter and shaman. He quickly bought her for his gladiator team, and this is where her story truly begins. This gladiator team consisted of three people, Valera, Brol Bearmantle, the night elf druid, and a human gladiator who had lost his memory. Rhaegar called him Logash. They fought and bonded together, though Valera and Brol mostly just bickered. Despite their victories as a team, Rhaegar sold Valera to another promoter to lead an all-female team. She was not a fan of this. All three gladiators escaped at nearly the same time. Brol and Logash from Rhaegar, and Valera from her new owner. She proved her loyalty to her new friends by killing an assassin that was sent after Logash and made up with Aegwyn. She's important in WoW lore, but we're not going to get into her right now. Her only role here was to tell Logash that he was actually Varian Rin, King of Stormwind, and the trio resolved to travel the Stormwind to bring him back to his throne. Along the way, they were slowed by two attacks that affected Valera. The first was a Naga attack, in which the magic that she was attacked with reignited her addiction to magic that all Blood Elves have. The second was a curse called the Mark of Kathra Natir by a warlock sent to kill Varian. Both of these would mean the demon known as Kathra Natir would take over her body in moments of weakness. Though her friends were loyal to her, this made her dangerous to be around. She struggled with this control, but in the end it was the love of her friends that kept her sane and in control, and able to complete her duty in bringing Varian back to Stormwind to kill Anixia and reclaim his throne. Valir was offered a permanent position along with Brol as Varian's bodyguards, a post she eagerly accepted. She would go on to assist in repelling attacks and guarding peace summits. She even helped out with defending Garona's son, he who shall not be named. She fought Shogal and gave herself over to the demon inside of her in order to get the power to fend him off. This proved too much for her to handle, but a mage by the name of Meryl Winterstorm absorbed the demon into himself, freeing her from its grasp. Valir would not have another major role until Legion, where she would help the player rogue find the artifact known as the Fangs of the Devourer and uncover that Matthias Shaw was replaced by a Dreadlord. She would continue to serve as an uncrowned and assist in the fight against the Legion, but if we know anything about Valira, she is only in it to protect the people she loves. In the Nexus, Valira flaunts her talents as a skilled assassin. She takes a page from the World of Warcraft rogues and has two talent bars, one for when she's stealth and one for out of stealth. She also uses the combo point system as well, building up charges and unleashing powerful finishing moves. Valera makes a great addition as a classic assassination rogue. Let's hope you'll see her coming after you in the Nexus. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons, and take care, everybody.